Hey guys! So today I have another epoxy creations video to share with you. Um, I got a bunch of stuff done this week. Going to get a bunch more stuff done. What is going on with that hair there? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Gonna get a bunch more stuff done this week coming up. Um, I have a lot of orders coming in now that spring summer is rolling around. Um, people are coming out of the woodwork asking me for new, a lot of repeat customers, by the way, um, asking me for tumblers and stuff like that. So I'm super excited to get started on all of them. Um, and I will be finishing up the ones that I have going in this video today. Also, if you're interested in purchasing anything that you see in this video that isn't custom made for somebody, check out my Poshmark. I will have the link to it in the description box down below so you can browse and buy stuff that you would like. Also, if you see stuff that you like but is sold out, if you see stuff um, that you like but it's not in the right color, doesn't have the right letter, um or just want a custom order yourself, feel free to reach out to me. My Instagram and my email are always in the description box down below. Just shoot me an email, send me a message on Instagram, and um, we can talk details and I will get stuff made up for you. And also, I wanted to ask you guys um, how you would feel if I started selling on whatnot the app called whatnot um i know melissa the cheap chick does it um and she has success on there and yeah i was wondering how you guys thought about it um if you guys would want me to put up some of my stuff on there um for you to purchase just let me know in the comments down below um what you think i have applied to become a seller on there and um, I did get approved, but I have to attend like a video and it's like, um, I have to attend a live, which um, explains like all the ins and outs of it and all that. So that I'm attending on Tuesday. And once I've attended that and finished all that, everything gets approved and then I'm able to go live and sell. So just let me know. Um, and yeah, I will set something up and we'll go from there. But now on to my epoxy clips. Here they are. Ignore my dogs. I don't know what they're barking at, <laughs> but okay. So I started working on Pam's beach themed tumbler again. So um, what I did, she wanted just a pop of glitter in the water, like in the glue, in the blue, bl glue, in the blue part. So I added just a little bit of white glitter, which has white and holographic. And it kind of softened it a little bit, which looks really pretty as well. Um, but it just has that little pop of glitter throughout it which I think looks really cute and then she had mentioned well she's moving um and she's a little tight on money right now so she didn't want to do she really wanted the real sand but was like I just I can't afford it right now because it's extra so for just a kind of little moving present kind of thing and I'm gonna throw in a little extras in her box too um just because we're super close, we talk pretty much almost every day. Um, so I added the real sand for her anyway, and I'm gonna charge her just for a regular tumbler. Um, I didn't put as much as I put on this one, um, just because I didn't want it as bulky at the bottom. Um, I know she's kind of not a fan of the bulky, so I just added a little bit of the real sand to it. And then I added some rose gold glitter to give it that, you know, sparkle. Um, so that's what I did for that. And I did not add the starfish. I just think um, she only wanted it like right at the bottom instead of like partially up it. So I only did it right at the bottom. And then I'm not going to do the starfish because that adds more bulkiness to it. So I just did the real sand and um, the glitter. But I think it turned out really stinking 
cute. So I did have to add one more layer to the Lilo and Stitch Cup, and hopefully this is the last layer I'll ever have to add. I just, I put a thin layer of the new epoxy over the old epoxy, so I needed a thicker layer for it to cure like properly, I'm thinking. So I put a super thick layer of resin on this so that hopefully tomorrow it'll be good to go. Fingers crossed because this layer has way, this cup has way too many layers and any more layers and it's going to be like humongous. And I popped these both with the heat gun real quick to kind of activate the resin and yeah, we are good to go. I'm going to check back in in a few hours and see how they're doing. Now this one on the other hand, oh, I don't know what to do. I should have put a thicker layer on to begin with. Um, but this was peeling up and I just ended up peeling it all off. I, I have to keep this down here because this is covered, especially on this part. So um, I'm just going to leave the, the black at the bottom. But I don't know if I should add another piece at the top. Maybe not the glitter one because the glitter one is really thick and it just popped up. So I may just use my regular black vinyl and just go over the top again and then put on the two coats. So I filled in the layer of resin that needed to be here to make this like flush. Um, let me tell you, the lettering got so many bubbles in it and I had to like, I can still see some. I had to like pull them up and pop them all, but can you see? There's still more that I missed. That was a little annoying. Um, and then this I'm going to do tomorrow when I do, I'm going to cut all the vinyl at once. So I'm going to, um, this is going to say I'm a little high maintenance or maybe just high maintenance. I don't think I have a little. Um, I think I just have one that says high maintenance, just like that, with that gone. Um, but I forget but I'm going to add that to this as well to make it match and then it'll be like a little set. With the leftover resin, I made an A and an M to match Pam's P magnet that I made her. She wanted to have an A and an M to like spell out her whole name. And I actually matched the colors that I made with that as well. And then with the leftover resin of those, I made two square beads that hopefully turn out cute. So I added another layer of resin to the bottom to kind of seal in the sand and then just a little bit more glitter just because I feel like it needed just a little bit more pop of glitter. So I'll, I might add one more layer, just flush on tonight depending on how like gritty it still is down here but maybe not i might just be able to add the svgs on tomorrow um we'll see we'll see how it feels how it looks all that good stuff and then um i'm so happy this is dry i think what my issue is is this resin is a thick viscosity not thin my last one was a thin viscosity the one that worked really really well before this um so i just i feel like i needed to use a thicker layer um because it doesn't spread as softly and nicely when there's not a lot of it and so it doesn't cure as well i'm guessing because this feels perfectly cured and it's only been a few hours um and this will be probably completely cured tomorrow um I'm hoping fingers crossed fingers crossed you guys um so yeah I'm excited and I think this one turned out really cute too ah! And then tomorrow, when I'm cutting out the SVGs for this, I am going to put a layer of just regular black at the top instead of um, 
the glitter black i mean it won't match exactly but it'll still look cute um but it just needs to stay down better up here and then i'll do two more layers of resin a little bit thicker than i did this time because obviously thin is not good with this resin um and then this should be finished and then i will be starting on a new tumbler and this is going to be a nursing tumbler but in a friends theme friends like the tv show friends so um this is uh going to be white glittered out so the lilo and stitch tumbler is finally finally finished here it is all put together with the it's so heavy by the way because of all those layers but um here's the ice lid i think it looks really cute and then i added a neon striped orange straw to match i think it looks adorable so i put just regular black vinyl on the rubber duck cup i think it matches pretty well though hopefully that stays down and i will be putting the two final coats on this today and here is pam's beach theme tumbler so i put a little crab on the bottom because she loves crabs i couldn't really get anything in the sand because it's so textured so i kind of left that alone but i had to put her like signature crab on here and then we have whoop, the beach is my happy place and it looks really cute what do you guys think this is getting the final couple coats as well then I have the SVG put on the stash jar with the high maintenance. I was right. It only says high maintenance. But this is permanent vinyl, so I am just going to leave this on here. I'm going to heat it up with a heat gun just to um, make sure it's really good and stuck. But I think it looks cute. Now all I got to do is just put some UV resin at the bottom to fill in those holes and we are good to go on this one. And then for the free gift to go along with the Lilo and Stitch tumbler, I may, or I am making, I put the SVG on this. I got to, um, I have to top coat this and then put the hardware on, but I put her name, Sharla, which is also on her tumbler on the S keychain and yeah it'll be good to go to ship out in the next couple days so i took a heat gun to the vinyl it's good and stuck and it matches pretty perfectly and that sits in there and then this is pretty much fully cured it's got like a few i'm gonna give it till tomorrow but um yeah today i'm gonna do the bottom of this jar and then this will be ready to put up on poshmark if you're interested in purchasing this i think it's super cute and here is how pam's letters came out there's the m and here's the a and then once these are fully cured because they're still a tiny bit bendy out of the mold so i'm going to give them one more day to cure and then i will be putting the magnets on the back and then I have one more magnet I need to make her. I have the mold already. She wants a mermaid tail one. So this will be her other magnet. I got the glitter started on the nursing tumbler. It's all glittered out. So um, I did a little more than I was planning on because I thought it just looked too plain with just the fine white glitter. So I fine white glittered about down to here and then I did chunky white glitter, which kind of, um, when it's in the light, reflects uh, blues and purples and greens. And so does the um, fine glitter, if you can see. But this really reflects it, and I think it's so pretty. So this has fine glitter in it, but it also has the chunky glitter, which I think is just adorable. I, I love that. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned, but the nursing um, SVG is in the friends theme. So um, instead of saying friends, it says like a nursing quote with the friends kind of um, the, 
I think it's the black letters with the like dots in between, like, like, yeah, you'll see. But I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna let this cure for about four hours and then I'm gonna come back down and put on another layer, probably two, because um, especially because there's chunky glitter, maybe even three, but I don't think I'm gonna need three, but um, yeah. So now we have the first final layer put on the rubber duck cup and on Pam's beach cup. So now in like four hours, I'm gonna come down and put another layer on all three tumblers and then we'll just, we'll be good to go for the day. That's all I'm gonna do with these cups for the day. Um, these two should be finished after the second layer. Um, and this one will probably need another layer before it's good for the SVGs. Um, so I might not get to the SVGs tomorrow for that one. So I added a second layer to this, the beach is my happy place. Um, I may, there are a few little rough pieces in the sand that like poke out a little bit. Um, I may just file them down tomorrow and add one more coat on just to make sure it's smooth. Um, I probably, I'm most likely going to do that um, instead of just keep, keep adding resin until it evens out. I think I'm just going to file down the little, just like that there. Um, and there's a couple over here that are just poking out a little bit that I think it'll just, it'll save me on resin. Then I have the final top coat on this. Hopefully, um, hopefully, hopefully it's all I need. <laughs> and then when I take this off, I'm going to UV the top, the rim right up here, just to make sure there's no cracks in between and no moisture can get in there or anything and it can't peel. And then I added the top layer of resin, the first layer of actual resin on top of the glitter. Now there are a few pieces that I may need to file down in the chunky that are sticking up like really high. Um, but we'll see, we'll see if I can get them to lay flat, probably not. So um, yeah, I may have to file that down a little bit, but um, all in all, like for fine glitter, I feel like I only need one layer over this and it'll be flush. Like, look, that does not look textured at all. So I'm gonna check on these in four hours, um, maybe three. This time it dried in three hours as opposed to four. So it's a little bit warmer of weather and stuff like that. So that's probably playing a factor. But um, yeah, I'm gonna check on these. Oop, I just got my finger on that. <laughs> I'm gonna check on these in a few hours and just make sure they're curing nicely. So I poured the mermaid tail. I tried to make purple <laughs> from red and blue, but it came out like a red color, but I still think it looks really pretty. What I did was I put some white alcohol ink in the bottom, just scattered it in the bottom, and then poured a little bit of that reddish purple color in like drizzled it and then i poured the green on top and it made this beautiful swirl which i really really love i can't wait to see what the other side looks like when i demold this and then with the leftover green resin i only had a tiny bit i made um i poured some in a bead thing the square beads and then i poured some of the red purple on top and then I made a bookmark. I did the same thing as I did with the um, mermaid tail mold. I pour, I drizzled a little bit of white alcohol ink in the bottom and then poured the red in and it came out to this beautiful swirl. I may put something like write something on this bookmark. I'm not sure though. Um, and then with the leftover red, I made a bead and I didn't have quite enough for the other one. This is the round bead, but um, yeah. And then I have a red square bead. So yeah, um, not a super lot of stuff that I did this week, but I did get stuff done. I, I had things that I had to do otherwise this week as well. And I do have a couple appointments this week coming up. So, but I'm definitely getting back into the swing of things, getting used to my, epo my new epoxy. Um, 
it's all about trial and error at this point but I'm getting the hang of it and it things are working out. So yeah, I'm able to um, get tumblers done again and stuff like that. So I'm excited about that. I do need to buy new regular epoxy soon. Thankfully, the epoxy that I use um, <laughs> is, not, is not discontinued and it's on Amazon. So um, once I'm ready, I can purchase that, but I'm getting down to the tail end of my gallons of epoxy my regular epoxy. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you are interested in purchasing anything from my shop, my Poshmark link is in the description box down below. Or if you would like a custom order, feel free to email me or send me a message on Instagram. Those are both in the description box down below. And I will be happy to make something custom for you. But that is everything for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye!